We regret to announce that Louis Percival Bryan Wardrobe departed this life on Friday, July 24, 2020, at the age of 62. He was a Sumerian, class of 1975, former assistant controller of the Customs and Excise Department and former customs specialist with the St. Lucia VAT Implementation Project Office, left to Mona R., his life partner, Cynthia Alexander, his daughter, Lavina Alexander, his son, Lester Alexander, his goddaughter, who was also his niece, Patricia Ann Wardrobe, and her children, Kian Elliott, Dale K. Joshua Elliott, his sister, Anne-Marie Belinda Lubin, his nephews, David Lubin, Tristan Lubin and family, Christopher Lubin and family, Gregory Lubin and family, Cecil Asner Lubin and family, his nieces, Lorraine Lubin and family, Beverly Lubin and family, Yasmin Pancham and family, Keda Lubin Can and family, his mother-in-law, Jean Alexander, his sisters-in-law, Joycelyn Lubin, Anne William and family, Dr. Gilberfer Alexander, Jennifer Alexander Alberton and family, his brothers-in-law, Eusebius Alexander and family, Galbert Alexander and family, Marcellus Alberton and family, other relatives including the family of his late uncle Aaron Lubin, the family of his late aunts, Wedis Louis, Loretta Benjamin, Eliza Serrier, Mary Lubin, and Ethlyn Williams. The Lubin, Wilson, and Serrier families in Miku, the Hamilton, Walcott, Bernays, and Chalmine families in Chozelle, the Wardrobe families in Panama, also left to mourn are Marie de Turville and family, Owen Dolo, former colleagues at the Customs and Excise Department, former colleagues of the St. Lucia VAT Implementation Project Office, neighbors at Garden Grove and Trees, other relatives and friends both here and abroad too numerous to mention. The Thanksgiving service for the life of the late Louis Percival Bryan Wardrobe will be held at 9.30 a.m. on Saturday, August 8, 2020 at the Minor Basilica of the Immaculate Conception and the body will be laid to rest at the Shock Cemetery. A collection will be taken towards the restoration of the cathedral. The body now lies at Creek's Funeral Home Limited in Vidbutai Castries. Due to the current COVID-19 protocols, the family wishes to mourn in private after the funeral service. May his soul rest in peace. <laughs>